हॅलो एव्हरी वन वेलकम टू विंग्ज ऑफ फिजिक्स माय सेल्फ दीपाली कुलकर्णी फ्रॉम पी व्ही पी ज्युनियर कॉलेज प्रवरानगर लोनी वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर टॉपिक थर्मोडायनॅमिक्स अँड टुडेज लेक्चर इज लेक्चर नंबर फिफ्टीन अँड टुडेज लेक्चर इज लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दिस टॉपिक इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट स्टर्लिंग सायकल अँड डिफरन्स बिट्वीन दि स्टर्लिंग सायकल अँड कार्नॉट सायकल ओके लेटेस्ट स्टार्ट दिस स्टर्लिंग सायकल इट इज बेस्ड ऑन ए स्टर्लिंग इंजिन अँड इट इज प्रपोज्ड बाय ए स्टर्लिंग इन एटीन सिक्स्टीन ओके दॅट स्टर्लिंग सायकल दॅट इज नथिंग बट ए रिव्हर्सिबल सायक्लिक प्रोसेस इन दिस प्रोसेस ए बी सी डी ए दिस इज दी कम्प्लीट सायकल अँड फर्स्ट इन सायकल सपोज ए सायकल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए देन दी हीट इज ॲबसॉर्ड बाय दी वर्किंग सबस्टन्स इन स्टर्लिंग सायकल वर्किंग सबस्टन्स इज द एअर हायड्रोजन नायट्रोजन अँड हेलियम दॅट आर दी वर्किंग सबस्टन्स इन केस ऑफ ए स्टर्लिंग सायकल अँड वेन वर्किंग सबस्टन्स ॲबसॉर्ब हीट ॲट दॅट टाइम the temperature of that working substance that is at constant temperature it absorbs heat and due to the absorption of heat volume goes on increasing volume goes on increasing pressure goes on decreasing and suppose this is the working substance that is fitted in a cylinder that is in a cylinder and that cylinder is fitted with movable massless piston and when it absorbs heat then the its volume goes on increasing then pressure goes on decreasing at constant temperature th and that is nothing but when volume goes on increasing then the expansion is there and it is at constant temperature therefore that expansion is isothermal expansion and volume goes on increasing then the during the cycle bc this happens during the path ab that is nothing but isothermal expansion during path ab volume increases pressure decreases at constant temperature th then the heat is after that the heat is rejected from this working substance working substance it may be air helium hydrogen nitrogen um, out of these four one may be a working substance then the heat is rejected by that working substance at constant volume and the heat rejection is there and when heat is rejected at constant volume the process is isochoric process means volume remains constant work done is zero during that process and heat is reject when when heat is reject to this working substance then temperature decreases from th to tc and this is nothing but the during the path bc the process is isochoric process then the working substance is at constant temperature tc when temperature of that working substance goes on decreasing then its volume goes on decreasing and pressure goes on increasing means during the path cd what happen the volume goes on decreasing pressure goes on increasing at constant temperature tc that is nothing but when volume goes on decreasing pressure goes on increasing when volume decreases that is nothing but compression but it is at constant temperature tc and therefore that compression is called as isothermal compression means during the path cd isothermal compression is there and during that path the temperature tc that remains constant now the working substance is at point d during the path da again heat is absorbed at constant volume and due to the heat absorption the temperature goes on increasing from tc to th during this path da heat is absorbed by that working substance and its temperature increases from temperature tc 
to Ta and in this manner a cycle complete okay and the area under this curve that gives you the work done during one complete cycle okay and this is about the Stirling cycle then when the reverse working the reverse Stirling cycle is there then it is used as like a refrigerator and the reverse Stirling cycle is extremely used in the field of cryogenics cryogenics means it is a field to produce extremely low temperature to liquefy the air or gases which are used as a working substance and this is the use of Stirling cycle it is used in the field of cryogenics to produce extremely low temperature or to liquefy air or gases then the gases that is air helium hydrogen nitrogen they are used as a working substance to liquefy these gases the Stirling cycle is used and this is the use of a Stirling cycle okay this is all about the Stirling cycle now we have to distinguish the Carnot cycle and Stirling cycle in Carnot cycle we can distinguish the Carnot cycle or Carnot engine and Stirling cycle first thing or first different Carnot engine or Carnot cycle that is a imaginary then Stirling cycle it is a practical engine it is practically working then this is a actual working this is the imaginary hypothetical cycle or hypothetical engine then in Carnot cycle two isothermal and two adiabatic process are there in Stirling cycle two isothermal and two isochoric process are there and third point efficiency of Carnot cycle is maximum among all engine the efficiency of Carnot cycle is always maximum but uh, efficiency of Stirling cycle that is less than the Carnot engine and last difference the efficiency of Carnot cycle it does not depend on the working substance but uh, efficiency of Stirling engine that depends on the working substance and this is the difference between the Carnot engine and Stirling engine. Are you getting my point? I hope all of you understood this Stirling cycle and difference between Carnot engine and Stirling engine very well. Hmm? If you like my video then like, share and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get notified about my new upcoming videos. Thank you very much.